Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and in today's video we'll be doing the 2k Q&A but before we get to the rest of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet. What's up? <laughs> uh, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. Uh, today is the 2k Q&A. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. I, I greatly appreciate it and if you are interested in coaching, my Rocket League coaching, I do have a link down in the description for my fiverr but because it's the 2k q a and 2k special if you anyone wants a chance at a free coaching giveaway uh just put a comment down in the comment section saying uh coaching would be cool that there you go uh it, it's weird seeing myself like everything's inverted as well like yeah, I'm, I'm just looking at myself like I see you. But, uh, yeah. Uh, since it's a Q&A, uh, I have a bunch of questions on my monitor right here uh, that are pretty poorly organized. But I'm going to try and do my best. If you see me clicking around or do whatever, I'm trying to organize it. It's, if you could see it, you guys don't know how I do it. But, uh, yeah. I guess personal questions we can get out of the way would be uh, face reveal. Hi, that's me. I don't know what you expected, but uh, yeah. And another one would be, how old are you? Uh, I am now 20 years old, which is crazy. There's a whole nother decade that I'm in now. And uh, bye bye teenage years, I guess. Uh, yeah, so that's that's cool. That's awesome. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, but another one that I'd say is on the more personal end is, uh, do you have any other social media accounts? I don't really, uh, I have a personal Instagram that no one will ever find. Hopefully trust. I don't know. <laughs> Probably no one will ever find. Uh, and if you guys hear loud bangs, everything's okay. There's neighbors and stuff. But, uh, yeah. Uh, social media accounts, not really. I have a Twitter that I think i wrote twitter once that's about it i don't really i don't like twitter so i don't use it and uh yeah things about me i guess five cool things say about yourself uh which arm is this one i like anime rocky league and cars <laughs> that's about it uh yeah i don't i don't know what else to say uh ask questions in the description if you want to and then that's oh, i'm gonna take forever to get used to this but that's berserk if you're interested uh good series you should uh read it don't watch it but uh yeah that's about it on the personal stuff but let's get more to what you guys are looking forward to that would be the rocket league and the first question i got for rocket league was what's better octane or fennec and they are literally the same car, uh, same hitbox. Uh, it's personal matter, so like you use what you want to use. Uh, so I would say Octane. I've been an Octane player since 2016. So mix it up with a little bit of Fennec here and there. Just pretty much whatever I feel more comfortable with using. If I feel faster, more mechanical, whatever, uh, I'll choose either or. But I'm staying away from the Dominus. I'm not a Dominus guy. Uh, yeah, Octane, Fennec, whatever. Uh, another question that I got was that was related to Rocket League was, what's your favorite mechanic? And this is a tricky question, I'd say, because there's a whole bunch of good mechanics and all that type of stuff. But one thing I would say is probably probably flip reset flip reset is kind of like the the mechanic but you know there, there's so much like manipulation you can have around it it's uh you can switch up directions of the play of the ball whatever you want to call it like i think it's probably the, the coolest thing i do it enough in game to like no so <laughs> but uh yeah that's about it for that uh another one that again 
just said clicking just doing stuff over here don't worry uh is how do you train your dodge control for air dribbles and foot resets as well as do you go for other titles like title Anni annihilator or legendary baller i'll answer the second question first because it's easier no i don't because i don't know i i in perspective of like the game like if this is rocket league uh if i were to put like the titles here like doesn't matter like i'll put extra modes down here i don't really care and then i'll put the regular game up here you know, it's inverse flipped whatever but uh yeah i wouldn't i don't know i don't really care for extra mode titles they as a, got my ssl title so that's all I'm, that's all i'm saying for that but uh for the how to train your dodge control for air dribbles flip reset eh, flip resets it's just repetition it's just you keep going and going and going until like you become daniel or you become beast mode and, like i mean all these like highly cool mechanical players it's just repetition over and over hour and hour hours and hours there's not really a like there's not really a trick like a do this and you will be good at it it's more of it's, it's repetition like a lot of this game is just going to be repetition muscle memory uh and that but one thing i would suggest is like for the dodge control is go off the wall jump off the wall and then try to flip your car like get as spun out as possible like kind of create the these like blackout moments like where you don't know what to do because the more you know what to do like the less you have those blackout moments so if you keep pushing and pressuring that uh there will be no more blackout moments so if you're flipping off the wall and the ball is like you know like kind of far away and then you have to flip to get there uh it's like you won't have that oh what do i press what do i do in this time yet again repetition it's the more you do it the more comfortable and easy it will be so yeah oh, no, it's, it's, don't can't get over this right now give me a little bit but uh yeah so that's the main thing there and the other thing that I will answer is two things yet again, <laughs> or the other question here, uh, is can you do a video explaining how you can read the ball off, read the ball off the bounce, bounce better. Example, ball bouncing off the wall, how to predict where it's going based off of how to hit the wall, things to watch out for like corner bounces and how to read them. And two is threes and twos positioning video, just a deep dive into positioning. Now. I'll answer the second one first. I don't know. It seems like an easier answer to me. Uh, twos and threes positioning video. I do have it planned, right? It's just, I don't know if any of you guys know him, but uh, Beaches, I Beaches, I don't know how to say his name. Uh, he put out a pretty good uh, video explaining like positioning and tutorial, or positioning and like thought process kind of. Uh, I don't know if it was threes, but I, I'm pretty sure I remember it being twos. So that's a guy I recommend for that. I'll put his thing somewhere around here. But uh, yeah, that's one thing I will say. I will come up, come out with my own. Uh, but if I deep dive into something, I sorry, I I will deep dive. So yeah, and the first question was, can you do a video explaining how to read the ball? ball bounces whatever that's like the the original like question of how to practice dodge like control it's repetition the more you realize you're in this situation of like let's say the ball is bouncing in the blue the blue right hand blue left hand corner like if you're driving holy <laughs> if you're driving this way and the ball is going in the corner I don't know how to yeah but you're on the orange team you're attacking the ball that goes into your attacking left corner like the blue corner uh and it's going to bounce out mid you just got to recognize what position you're in re regarding where you are so like maybe there's some gameplay in the background like showing this but 
pretty much you're putting yourself in a position to where you can read the bounce because you've put so much time into the game yet again if you put the cheat sheet for this game is learning off of others and putting it like if someone describes something that you don't understand go to the next guy go to the next guy go to the next person as long as you continue to retain and keep in the information and you can spin it in your own way like something i didn't understand for the longest time but a coach a while back just put it into like put it in words that like i could finally understand uh it completely changed how i play if you guys go back maybe six ish months five ish months you can see like there's a little turn to where i become a better player right and that's just understanding something uh not too high level actually it's just the uh, speed and how you move your play uh i just couldn't understand it for the longest time but he put in words that i could understand it's like completely changed how i play so yeah but going back to predicting the wall is just realizing what position you're in like if you're attacking that blue left corner and you're on the orange team and it's going to bounce back back or it's going to bounce back mid uh you're just going to try and meet the ball where it's like an aerial right you're just trying to meet the ball where you want to meet the ball like if the ball is going up and you're like mid here and the ball will just keep this trajectory and then slowly curve down you just want to practice to where where you jump where you want to meet the ball same thing with the wall if you see the ball going pretty fast it's probably going to bounce off pretty fast now the only thing that's going to differentiate is where the ball touches on the wall if it's like that weird little corner where it's like like it's kind of curved and cupped like that like in the corner then it's going to take a weird bounce like no matter what if it's yeah uh, <laughs> i don't know how to describe it but uh yeah it's just repetition time practice all that like there's no direct stuff that will say this is this will make you cut thousands of hours it's just keeping up knowledge in the game that's all i'm gonna say <laughs> but uh yeah that all right i'm back i knew i missed a question so uh yeah Another question is, what mechanic do you recommend to rank up faster? And I'm going to go a little more in depth with this one. This is more of a uh, layered question to me because, believe it or not, guys, there's more than like two ranks in the game. Champ and Diamond. There's Grand Champ. There's SSL. There's Plat. There's Gold. There's Silver. And there's Bronze. So depending on each rank, there's going to be a different answer. And for bronze to gold my mechanic will be play the game like i cannot stress enough you are stuck in gold because you don't play it enough or you are stuck in gold because you don't understand something about the game like a fundamental sense of the game it's not because you, you don't know how to flip reset it's not because you don't know how to wave dash it's not because you don't know how to ceiling pinch those aren't reasons it's because you don't understand something at a fundamental le level like this is this is the break button break button uh power slide button for me i don't have stuff bound here but uh yeah break button or break button power slide air roll whatever you want this to be like this controller like you can bind it how you want to like that's the cool thing about controllers is that in games you can have custom controls so if you don't like the boost being on circle you can change it to r1 it's just whatever you're more comfortable with. And that's the fundamentals of the game. Is how your car works, how your car moves. You don't get into this fancy thing of how to fly, how to do this, how to do that. That becomes a little bit later. That's where we get the plat. And plat, speaking of plat, uh you're in plat, same reason as gold. There's something fundamental you don't understand. Whether it's rotations, and rotations can be as simple as just going up and driving back. You heard it from me. Drive up, drive back. Just, you gotta make sure... Listen here. You gotta make sure you understand where your teammate is on the field. That is what separates everyone from Plat. Like, Plat and Diamond, like, everyone above that is, like, there's some awareness on the field. Like, and that, that of course, comes with time. The more time you put 
Whoa. Shocker. The more time you put into the game, the more you will understand at the end. But, uh, yeah. So, Plaid is... Mechanically... It's still not asking a lot of you. Like, you can learn how to flip reset. Like, I truly don't care. You can learn how to flip reset. You can learn how to... What's it? Mox... Moxie... Jacks... I don't know what they're called anymore. You can learn all of those. Doesn't mean you'll rank up. <laughs> so, to rank up, I suggest the very basics. Learning how to wave dash. Learning how to half flip. Learning... Like, double jump aerials, fast aerials even. Like, if you're an advanced plat, like, let's say you're plat 2, plat 3, fast aerials. Simple to me, right? You start to learn the basics, and you get better at the basics. And then when you get to something like diamond, then you can learn how to, like, move fast around the field, get into positions better. Like, with better, more consistent wave dashes. Like, <laughs> it's not mechanics that hold people back most of the time it's game sense and awareness like you could show a you can pretty much tell between a mid to like low ranked person and a higher ranked person it's not because of the flashy plays it's because of the way they move around the field and the way they flip their car if they're flipping if they're sorry I could rant about this all day Back to the question. <laughs> but, uh, main thing for plat and diamond, or plat is just wave dash, half flip, wave dash, half flip, and, like, fast aerials. Like, I think that's the most you need. Like, Flakes and I think someone else did a not going, like, not aerialing until, like, they got SSL. Like, you can stay grounded, like, the whole entire way. I don't recommend it, but it's a way to play the game. And... I won't knock you for it, but it's like, yeah. But for Diamond, I would suggest keep progression with the fast aerials. If you didn't do it in Plat, definitely do it in, uh, what's it called? Diamond. Uh, and Diamond is where it gets a little tricky for me because it's like, you understand the game, but you don't understand the game. And that's where it's like less mechanics. Like, I'd still suggest the same stuff as Plat, like, to me, there's not much difference between, like, low diamond and, like, plat. Like, a collective plat. So, same thing. Same thing as there. Half flips, wave dashes, maybe some speed flips, like, to move around the field a little faster. You don't want to over... over... board it or whatever. Uh, you just want to keep with the basics, as I said. But, yeah. Same thing as plat. Diamond is... Diamond will be the same thing as Plat. Uh, only way to speed up the play a little bit more. Like, practice getting good solid touches. Uh, yeah, solid touches on the ball. Realizing when to and when not to boom the ball. Like, learn how to keep possession and, like, stuff like that. Like, champ players. And speaking of champ, this is where you can get into the more mechanical side of the game, uh, I'll say. Where... You can start to learn your your flip resets you can i'd say in diamond is where you could roughly start to learn like how to be consistent at air dribbles like three touch two touch like keeping your car like this instead of like spinning all over the place just a way to be more consistent at them at a higher level right that's all like, I'd say low champ is compared to diamond. It's just, you're a little faster. You're a little more mechanical. You're a little more consistent. And that, you can scale that up to pros, even. Like, someone like Zen or an ass, like, at the 26, 2700 MMR range is going to be better than the person at the 2K MMR range or the 1800 or the 1900. Like, you can scale that pro level. You can scale that downwards, right? It's all just what you work on and how well you work on it. If you want to be a plat and you want to be a freestyler, go ahead. Learn all the fancy mechanics, but you will probably be plat diamond forever. Unless you get the champ. But back to champ. That is going to be the air dribbles. That is going to be the flip resets. You can start to learn it. You won't be as consistent as it, because this is where you start to build your... Uh, 
start to build your fundamentals of like car control and everything so i would say like this is where you can start to test and like figure out what you want to do with your car uh whether that's through those mechanics or if watching practicing whatever and training like be my guest practice whatever you want to practice i'm not gonna say don't do that i'm just gonna say whoa this is what i suggest to rank up if you just want to focus on the rank but if you want to focus on like overall it's going to take a lot longer of course but you know there's parties that have like 4k hours on the game and are like top 100 like everyone plays the game at their own pace like there's no be here at this level or at this amount of hours you're going to be this level it's not how the game works <laughs> there's there's people i know that have like 10k hours and they're in champ and then there's people that i know that have like 400 hours and are in like gc1 or something like 2k hours are in gc1 like gc2 right? like it doesn't game you'll find your rank right and you'll go through the ranks like it's just a matter of time but gc like if you're in gc and you're asking uh what mechanics you should be working on it's not mechanics it's game sense like the difference between a gc1 and a gc2 if you're in that level you can tell a difference between a GC1 and a GC2. You can tell the difference between a GC2 and a GC3, and a GC3 and an SSL, and then the levels of SSL. If you're anywhere in between those, it's not mechanics anymore that you need to work on, unless you're obviously not a mechanical player. Then you gotta work on the mechanics, right? But for champ, or let's say plat through champ, that's where you can work on getting how to use your car and like all that stuff but if you're gc1 and plus like you know what to kind of work on if you don't know what to work on my coaching is down in the description or like anyone else's coaching but yeah that's all the questions we have for today and hopefully i didn't ramble too long uh i'm looking at my recording time here and it says 22 minutes so Hopefully that's not too long. Maybe I'll cut some stuff out. But, uh, yeah. That's been me. Thank you again for 2K. It really does mean a lot. I really do appreciate it. On to better and bigger things. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.